Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan rabel to Mem Dr. Anissa Street SDM video summer lecture. Okay friends, today we are from group 7. We are going to discuss about scoring writing samples by using the rubrics. Before we start our discussion today, let me introduce the members in my group. My name is Ulaila and my friends are Delfina, Inton and Masayu Safira Alia Vanisa. Okay, friends, actually, our lecture, Mem Anissa, had given us four uh, writing samples or uh, handwritten samples that we have to review and we have to score. And if we will to score and review this handwritten, we have to, uh, we need the rubrics. And then, as you can see in here, there are the rubrics that uh, we have provided. Actually, we use this rubric to score and review um uh, and review the read the handwritten samples but before i explain you about this rubric let me explain you the writing scale in the writing scale there are some of band or level level 9 is expert writer and then level 8 is very good writer level 7 is good writer and level 6 is competent writer and level 5 modest writer and level 4 marginal writer level 3 is extremely limited writer and level 2 is intermittent writer and level 1 is non writer okay and then let me explain you about this rubric actually this rubric is adapted from brown 2007 and then in this rubric consists uh, of five aspects the first is content that has 30 percent uh, of scoring system including topic and details and an organization that has 20 percent of scoring system including identification and description and then grammar that has 20 percent uh, of scoring system including use present tense and agreement and then vocabulary uh, that has 15% of scoring system and the last is mechanic that has 15% in of scoring system including spelling punctuation and capitalization and in here the, there are the level score uh, the score level uh, as you can see there are 4, 3, 2, and 1. 4 means uh, excellent, and then 3 means good, and 2 means satisfactory, and 1 means need, needs improvement. So let's move to the waiting. Waiting for content is 3, and then waiting for organization is 2, waiting for grammar is 2, Waiting for vocabulary is 1.5 and waiting for mechanics is 1.5 and then uh, in here there are the formula to score uh, to score the writing okay um, in this rubric there are the formula to score the writing the formula is uh, 3c plus 2o plus 2g plus 1.5v plus 1.5m divided by 4 and times 10 I will explain you 3c means 3 times content the score of content and then 2o means 2 times the score of organization and then 2g means 2 times the score of grammar and 1.5v means 1.5 times the score in vocabulary and then 1.5m means uh, 1.5 times the score in mechanics okay uh, so for more detail let's go to the example Okay, friends, this is the are the uh, writing samples. This handwritten samples actually is level 9. And level 9 in writing skill means fully effective handling, handling of written communication for all required tasks. Okay, so... 
uh, after I review this handwritten samples, I got the score 10. So now I will explain you why I can get uh, the score 10 for this handwritten sample. Okay, scoring level 9. For content, I give score 4. Why? Because the topic is complete and clear and the details are relating to the topic. And then for organization, I give 4. Because identification is complete and descriptions are arranged with proper connectives. And then for grammar, I also give 4. Because this, uh, this handwritten is very view grammatical or agreement in accuracies. And then for vocabulary, I give 4. Because effective choice of words and word forms. And then the last, uh, and then the last is mechanics. I also give 4. Why? Because it uses correct spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. So now let's calculate the score. The formula is 3C plus 2O plus 2G plus 1.5V plus 1.5M divided by 40 and times 10. 40 in here is maximum score. Um, so how to get the maximum score? Uh, it, it, it's very easy. Um, the highest score uh, of each aspect times to winning. Okay. And then let's uh, let's calculate the score. Three C. It means that three times four, three times four is twelve. And then two O. It means two times four is eight. And then two G. It means two times 4 is 8 and then 1.5 V it means 1.5 times 4 is 6 and then 1.5 M uh, it means 1.5 times 4 so 12 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 is 40. 40 divided by 40 is 1. And 1 times 10 is 10. So that I get a 10 score from this. Okay. Um, it's very easy, right? So uh, if we want to score the writing, uh, we have to, we need, we need the rubric and uh, the guidelines okay i think that's all for my explanation thanks for your attention so now let's go to the next presenters thank you okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh let me introduce myself my name is Inton from pda2 okay i will continue the explanation about how to scoring the writing paragraph level 8 uh, there is example of paragraph level 8 which uh, which is if in the writing skill level 8 um, is very good writer is mean very nearly at full competence level so I give this score 9.1 for this paragraph level 8 uh, so how can I get this score okay let's see here Okay, rubric from Brown 2007, which Nurlaila explained, there are five aspects to scoring writing paragraph. So, for the scoring paragraph level 8, for the first aspect is content. I give score 4 because the topic is complete and clear and the details uh, are relating to the topic. And the second aspect about organization, I give score 4 because identification is complete and description are ranked with few uses of connective. And the third aspect about grammar, I give score 3 because few grammatical or agreement increases but not effect on meaning. The fourth aspect about vocabulary, I give score 3 because there are few uses of vocabulary wrong but not change the meaning. And the last aspect, mechanic. 
I give the score for because it uses corresponding uh, punctuation and capitalization. So, um, how to get this uh, final score? The, there are the formula to get the score. The formula is a score 3 um, times 4 because C here is content. After that, plus 2 times uh, 4. O here is organizations. And plus 2 times um, 3 because G here is grammar and then plus 1.5 times 3 because V is is, is hmm, vocabulary and plus 1.5 times 4 because M here is a uh, mechanic and after that um, times uh, the fine the result times uh, 10 and after that we can divide it uh, 40 here means maximum score so we can uh, get the final score okay i think that's all for me thank you very much wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay my name is dalvina i will continue the explanation now i'm going to show you how to score uh, the writing paragraph uh, level 5 okay look at this example here there is uh, the example of paragraph level 5 uh, which is uh, if in the writing scale uh, level 5 mean the modest writer uh, which is um, although the writer broadly conveying the message uh, the structure and uh, flow of the work is somewhat lacking of coherence and then little use of effective idiom or suitable cohesive device and there are some errors in usage spelling and handwriting not always perfect okay so i give uh, the score 7.3 for this paragraph so how i can get uh, this score uh, let's see uh, the way how I get uh, this score okay um, well uh, from the rubric uh, from Brown to 2007 that Nur Laila already explained there are several aspects to scoring the writing paragraph okay for the scoring a paragraph level five for the first aspect uh, uh, that is the content i give the score four uh, because uh, the topic is complete and clear and the details are relating to the topic and then uh, the second aspect organizations i give the score two because the identification is not complete and the description are arranged with few misuse of connectives and then the third aspect uh, that is grammar i give the score too because the numerous grammatical or arrange or agreement in accuracies and then uh, the next aspect is vocabulary i give uh, the score three because uh, there, there are the few misuse of vocabularies, word forms, but not change the meaning. And then the last aspect is mechanics, which is there are three parts, spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. I give the score three because it has occasional errors of spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. So, how to get the final uh, score? Okay, uh, there are the formula to get the final score okay the formula is score equal uh, 3c c here is content uh, and then uh, 2o o here is organization and then 2g g here is grammar and then 
1.5 V V here is vocabulary and then plus 1.5 M M here is mechanics which is um, uh, 3, 3 2 2 1.5 and 1.5 is waiting so we can times with the score so 3c means that 3 times uh, 4 because the content uh, I give the score 4 and then plus 2o uh, the score is 2 so 2 times 2 plus 2 times um, 2 and then plus 1.5 uh, times 3 and then plus 1.5 uh, times 3 and then times 10 uh, after that uh, we can divide it to 40 uh, 40 here means that uh, the um, maximum score okay uh, so uh, we can get uh, the final score is 7.3 Okay, I think that's enough about uh, my explanation. My name is Masayu Safira. I would like to show you the rubric table in writing skill on the level 4. Here is the example of handwriting in the level 4. Writing skill at the level 4 called marginal writer. Marginal writer conveys simple short message, but with longer text, there is a gap and deficiency in treatment. The writing is lacking in fluency, poor layout of the used paragraph, and use of cohesive device. So the, the text in level 4, I give the score 6.7. Why did I give a score 6.7 on the level 4? Well, let's see on the next slide. In the next slide, the table of writing rubric, they have five aspects such as content, organization, grammar, vocabulary, and mechanics. Content have 30 percent. It consists of topics and detail. Organization have 20 percent. It consists of identification and description and grammar cons consists of present tense a grammar with with and vocabulary 15% and mechanics with 15% consists of spelling and punctuation and etc for the content i give a score 3 3 is means that good to average the performance of the text is uh, the topic is complete but the details are almost relating to the topic for organization i give score uh, 3 in score because somewhat the handwriting is loosely organized but main ideas stand out with limited support logical but sequencing for grammar i give two the grammar is used a present tense and agreement so i give the score to fair to poor because numerous of grammatical or agreement in the writing have inaccuracies and also the handwriting cannot be read clearly and vocabulary i give the score to fair to poor because it have Error in vocabulary choice are sometimes they are interfere with the understanding and mechanics. Uh, I give score three good to average because it has oc uh, occasional errors of spelling, punctuation, and capital capitalization. For the weighting, uh, the content is three multiple and organization to multiple grammar to multiple vocabulary 1.5 multiple and then mechanics 1.5 multiple so after that 
we put the score into the formula. 3 multiple C plus 2 multiple O plus 2 multiple G plus 1.5 multiple vocabulary plus 1.5 multiple mechanic uh, multiple 10 divided 40. 3C means contents, 2O means organization, G means grammar, V means vocabulary, and M. Uh, after we put the number, like 3 multiple 3 plus 2 multiple 3 plus 2 multiple 2, 1.5 multiple 2, plus 1.5 multiple 3 multiple 10 divided into 40 the final result that I have is 6.7 so the final score is 6.7 I think that's enough for our presentation we have made mistake And let's say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.